I work at Disney World. Well, I mean I did. By Disney Security. I work in security at Disney World, the happiest place on earth. Typically, I wouldn't say where I work, as obviously there are some pretty strict rules about the things employees can put online. But I just don't think I can tell this properly without context. And, honestly, I think this may be it for me anyway with this job. I just can't see myself working here any longer now. I've been with the company for 23 years. The first 20 years, I worked in the parks, nabbing shoplifters and rounding up people who were drinking too much for the heat. Occasionally, there'd be a fight to break up, but people usually kept it pretty mild. The heat and walking was getting too much for me in the last few years, so I had to be transferred somewhere with the AC and the company moved me to one of their resorts. While the working conditions are 110 times better as far as climate and comfort go, the guests' issues were trickier. Mainly domestics. I guess the expenses and stress of vacation got to a lot of people, and I'd be called by neighbouring rooms because some mum and dad were yelling at each other. I tried to suggest they take a nap or do separate activities for a bit, and that would usually calm them down. But none of that is what I'm here for. I'm going to get this out while I have time. Three days ago, I got a call from management. Apparently a couple of days before that, housekeeping had went into a room that should have been turned over that day. Turned over is when one guest leaves about 11am and the next checks in around 3pm. But all of the guest's items were still in the room. Housekeeping had made a note of it and moved on, but during the next two days, when they entered the room... Everything was still there and untouched. I went to check it out, and sure enough, there was an empty room full of luggage, clothes, snacks, some toys, everything a family would need for vacation. The manager had already looked up the previous reservation, and it was for a family. Dad, mum, two little kids. I tried to call the phone numbers they'd given, but all I got was voicemail. We were a bit stumped. So, I made the call that the housekeeper should clean the room and take the family's personal items to be held until we got in contact with someone. I went digging into the reservation more. The family had arrived five days before housekeeping discovered all their stuff. I found out that the family had paid a parking fee and their vehicle description was listed. A quick walk of the parking lots and I had easily located their vehicle. So that ruled out a car accident, or them just deciding to leave all their stuff behind. Next, I saw that they had bought a dining plan. This is when a guest prepays for all their food. They are given a certain number of credits to use for meals. This family had only used three credits, and the last one was two days after they checked in. It appeared that the day they arrived, they got there late, and probably just stayed on the resort. The next day, they used two credits at Epcot. The second park day, they used just one credit at the Magical Kingdom, and it was at breakfast time. Now, at Disney, we have something called Magic Bands. Magic Bands are worn by guests and act as a room key. Park ticket, credit card, dining reservation payment, fast pass, and more. It took some work, but I was finally able to look up the family's fast pass history. The day they went to the Magic Kingdom, they had breakfast at a restaurant in the park, rode a couple of rides, and then rode their last ride. It's a small world around 11am. Then nothing. Finally, it was time to bring someone else in on this. I called an old co-worker at Magic Kingdom and asked him to pull security footage for It's a Small World at the time they rode it, and I made my way over there. When I got there, my friend was very confused, almost distraught looking. He showed me what he found. There's usually a camera in the direction of where the rides load and unload. The footage showed them scanning their hands to use fast passes for the ride and boarding the ride. The footage from the exit of the ride just showed the other people in their car exiting. They weren't there. Of course, we thought the worst. Maybe one of the kids had fallen out, and mum and dad and the other kid got off in the middle of the ride to help, and they all got injured or killed or stuck in the machinery somewhere. So we went to shut down the ride. 
Middle of the damn day. Turned off that earworm music and turned the lights up. Me and my buddy walked that ride three times before we called in help. Eventually, there was close to ten cast members searching, and we didn't find shit except for three cell phones and a hat. I was right stumped. I kept digging the past couple days, and I'm not sure who I should tell what I found next to. I've called the police, and I suppose they're on their way, but the company has a way of covering up things like this, and I decided I can't live with myself if I don't put out some type of warning. I kept digging into their reservation over the last couple of days, and today I noticed they had purchased Memory Maker. There are photographers all over the parks, and cameras in a lot of rides, and with Memory Maker, the photos are all free. They automatically get added to the guest's Disney account when the system knows their picture has been taken. And the system always knows. Everyone's whereabouts are always known with the magic bands. Well, I open up their Memory Maker photo album. I swear, there's 732 pictures. The first 30 or so are pretty normal. Epcot, a few rides, in front of a castle, but the rest... The rest are all in It's a Small World. The rides only take one picture per go around, so it appears as though this family had ridden the ride over 700 times. The first picture was pretty normal. Everyone looked happy, it was a busy day and a full car of guests. The next one is rough to look at. The car is empty except for this little family and they look so darn confused. The next 10 to 15, I can see Dad getting angry, yelling. The mother is holding on to the two kids like her life depends on it, and I can see the kids getting increasingly upset, crying. And it goes on and on and on. After 50 or so, they look like they're trying to get out. In one, the dad is missing. In the other, they're all gone. Maybe like they've bailed early in the ride and tried to walk out. But in the very next one, they're all right back in the damn car. After around 450 or so, I only see the mum and the kids. It's just when I look closely, I can see Dad. Maybe just his body now, slumped down in one of the other seats. Since about 675, there's just mum and one kid. Another body in another seat. The mom and kid aren't moving anymore. I think them two are still alive, just damn near catatonic. Looking straight ahead. Pale. And all I swear on my fucking life, the dolls are moving or something. In some of these pictures, I can tell they aren't where they should be. I even saw one with a doll in the car with this family. I can't look anymore or else I'm going to lose my lunch. I close the album. Its file size has increased since it's been closed. God, are there new pictures being added? I see on security cameras that the PD just arrived, so they'll take over soon. I wish I knew what the fuck was going on, but I also wish this damn thing had never landed in my lap. I don't think I'll be able to update this. After I talk to the police, I think I want to walk out of here and never come back. I just wanted to get this out there. Before Disney feeds the media some bullshit cover-up and why the whole family vanished. They didn't vanish. I know where they are.